Oh man, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from Sunny Slope Homestead. Today, well, I gotta cut some trees down. How's everybody doing? Everybody liking the snow? What's going on, hey hey? See you, uh, you flexing still. We had a lot of comments on the name of that rooster over there. And I think it's going to be between Hey You and Roscoe. Let me know what you guys think. Oh man, it is slick out here still. Getting the shop ready. Oop, see, I about, I about ate it. Getting the shop ready to work in to finish up the UTV here to get it going. Of the China Made versus American Grit UTV, we call it that I got a big concerning problem. I am low on wood. That is very concerning. So we have to chop down a tree. Uh, so I gotta go pick out a nice dead tree from all this, a nice big one that I can fire up the log splitter. It's late, it's starting to flurry out. We're supposed to get snow, it's supposed to be high wind. We're gonna have to fire this bad boy up that I already put away for the winter. If you guys are wondering about that firewood, I just cut this up not long ago. I'll post the link up top or the card up top that shows me uh, taking down that tree because it was an event, but that's not seasoned yet. So it's not gonna burn well. So what I'm gonna do is I'll finish burning up this trash right here, get this chore out of the way. And then uh, I'll have the back of the UTV available and we will go find a nice good tree. Cut down and split for today so we can have some warmth in this garage to finish up this uh, four-wheeler now i do have enough wood in there to make that happen but once that's gone it's gone so i'm gonna take a chance to have the day off the weather's not too bad to get a tree down yes i know my procrastination is something of concern but hey that's every guy What are you guys doing sitting over here? You guys always worried about those cool shots. But, so we didn't have to travel far to figure out where the tree was that we want to take down because, well, I planned ahead. So, uh, but she's a big in. So we'll take a look at it. I got two little dead stragglers that sit right there. And I'd really like to, to drop them. And hopefully I can put them right in this open spot right here and not hang them up on any of this old cranky stuff so it might be a little challenging i do have a couple fallen trees in here that i could take care of as well obviously a lot of stuff on the ground i got this small guy right here i got a big guy behind that he's kind of hid behind that other tree i'd love to get that one down and i was really hoping to drop some down into the pond area to make it easy for cutting up but we got some water down there you can tell over by the back end it is not frozen so i'm not going to drive the utv on that or drop trees or work on it because of that in itself oh no my pitchfork oh, can i get it out of the ground or is she going to be a sacrifice Ugh. I got it out of the ground. I better put this the other way before I slip on it and put it through my neck. I'm not trying to paint a picture, but you know, I kind of have that look. Hey, Harry, you hold on to that pitchfork for me, all right? Don't let anybody uh, steal it. <sighs> we should be in fairly good shape for the saw. She's not the most expensive saw on the market. But she gets the job done for sure. It's a Remington. But that is a concern. Where are my wrenches at? I don't want that super tight. But I would have to say, oh, if you guys got a tip out there, keep chains consistently tight, let me know. Because I am constantly tightening this one. And I don't keep it super loose by any means. 
This oil is gonna be thick as molasses. Oh, you can see that? That stuff just ran out like snot. I'm not gonna put a whole lot in there. Cause this cheap chainsaw, she leaks it out the bottom. I don't know what chainsaw doesn't leak it out the bottom though. When she's sitting idle, she just drips. All right, let's give her her 10 pumps. Pull the choke back in and... Starting to chase out about the only thing I follow directions on. Let's go see what kind of damage we can do. I might have to drop some of these right here just so uh, I don't run into any problems with it hanging up. Oh my God, are you guys okay? Did the mean tree hurt you? I'll be sure to keep you guys a little further back next time. That guy. It's gonna be some great firewood. That was a lot, boys. She's longer than I thought. She fell pretty good, though. She broke apart a little bit on the way down. Not too bad. Next, I just drop this guy right here. He'll be, he'll fall towards the pond, though. That's the way she's leaning. We'll see how the day goes. We might drop that one, too. I got some big wood, huh? Ugh. Woo! Ugh. We got her all cut up. Now we just gotta back down that UTV up there, that Ranger 900, excuse me. Oh, by the yet, by the way, that's a Remington 46 CC, 20 inch. We're gonna load my Ranger up with all this. This wood is uh, fairly light, so I think we can get her done in one load. I remember recently some channel I don't, I don't recall the name. I watched so many of the channels, but they're saying that uh, they wish they had a way to load this firewood in the back of their truck. Me. Yes, I am the same way. So I'm gonna use the same method he used. Let's see if it works for me. Ready? Man, it worked. Thanks, Jason. I mean, thanks to that channel that I didn't get this idea from. Never mind the change in daylight and cap on my head and red cheeks. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. All right, let's go get this stuff split and uh, get this shop heated up. Beautiful. 
All right, well, that's about as far as she's going. That's impressive. I didn't think it's going to start up like that. It's been sitting all winter. camera battery died uh, splitting wood but nonetheless we got the wood all split we got it put away all that wood would not fit in that container so I brought a little bit inside I brought the smaller logs in there because I can maintain a fire with those without going outside and I brought some that I could split when I need to lessen the amount of times to open that door to go get wood the better. I typically don't like uh, storing firewood inside, but you know, I had nowhere else to put it. That would be dry. Oh man, this UTV. How am I going to clean this off? I'm going to have to get that cleaned off before we bring it inside. Oh, otherwise, I'll have a wet mess in my garage. Boy, I can't say enough about this log splitter. I bought this thing beginning of the season for 500 bucks, and it has not failed me at all. The motor, she starts on the first pole, but when I start getting her going, she kind of starts uh, bogging out. She needs a little work. She needs a little TLC like that right there. Yeah, that needs to go away. Uh, we probably need the tube tires because that's a that's the second time I've set that bead. Oh, and I can't wait for this dry, this wood to be dry because that's a nice ash wood that will burn really hot. Oh, man, I got to get this place cleaned up in spring. It's starting to look like Sanford and Son. Moving on. Oh, come on now. There we go. So, let's see if I can lift it up with my bad arm. Oh, yep, we filled her up. Like I said, we filled her up. Yeah. You guys hear goats? <laughs> Here, you guys hear those goats in the background? Uh, they need some hay. And there's one thing about goats, they let you know when they're hungry and you're not doing your job. Let's head up, let's get these goats some hay. Oh, all right, let's go feed some goats. I love the way the property looks when it's snowing like this. I hear ya. Look at them running. I hear ya. I'm here to save the day. Oh, you guys are up in the fluff. You guys just fluffing around? You little fluffsters. What do you guys call gay horse feed? <gasps> hey! Back up, come on, security, come on. Make a hole, make a hole. I must say this feeder is working out really well. It has not given me any problems and the best part is is they have not got their head stuck in this thing yet you guys think i could do this one-handed carabelle hay in here i bet these goats are going to get out are they going to get out they're going to follow me no maybe no 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 huh what do you think what do you guys think you guys coming because i've got ooh, saved by the bell of hay <laughs> Oh yeah, one-handed guys. Oh, oh great. Hey, excuse me. One-handed. Don't got it. There's no food out there for you guys. I'm telling you. Hey guys, um, can we can we talk about where you guys need to be? 
there's only one thing I know that might bring them back. I'll dust off the secret weapon. Oh yeah. A little for you, a little for you, and a whole bunch for you. You got the most fluff. All right, come on. Do I know my goats or do I know my goats? Huh? What's up, Harry? Woo. Mom's getting ready to go get some dinner. Inside. Careful, it's slick. I know. All what right. are you doing? You alright? Yeah, I'm high on life. Because <laughs> I just love being out in the cold snow yeah. and feeding goats as they're screaming at me. Didn't Wyatt's been out here? Did he not do it? Yeah, he fed them this morning, but they wanted hay and they let me know. Oh, yeah. Yep, so. Okay, I'll be back. Alright, hurry. You. Love you too. This driveway can be a real bear to get down. Let's see. This is the biggest part. She'll start sliding right over here sometimes. And you'll go right off the edge. Okay, make a liar out of me. That's it. I'm done. That's the end of the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm sorry it wasn't a very interesting video. But, you know, you guys tune in because you guys like to see what's going on around here. I, at least I hope that you do and um, you know if you're not subscribed already go ahead that subscribe button because a lot of you guys watch the videos but you're not subscribed which uh, blows my mind because if you watch someone's video enough you tend to subscribe so in either way you guys you have a good night thanks for watching